Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In today's video we are going to talk about two such characters that are considered to be extremely powerful and awesome in the Marvel Universe. The powers and abilities of both the characters are extremely incredible. So today we will try to find out if Ghost Rider is capable enough to defeat an alien intruder who is none other than Venom. We will discuss the powers and abilities of both characters and then finally share our conclusion on who will really win the epic battle. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. First we will talk about the powers and abilities of Ghost Rider. Just like any other superhero and supervillain Ghost Rider has superhuman capabilities in which first comes the superhuman strength. Now Ghost Rider may not be the strongest superhero in existence, but still we have seen many times in comics that he can easily lift 20 to 25 tons of weight. But here the most important part is that the powers of the Ghost Rider actually has no limit. Yes, you heard it right. His powers knows no limit. In fact, Doctor Strange in one of the Marvel comics mentioned that Ghost Rider is a godlike entity and he is never able to utilize his full potential because of his human host which has its own physical limits. This is the reason why Ghost Rider will never be able to unleash his true extraordinary potential. This would mean that Ghost Rider actually possess infinite strength and potential. When agitated and filled with rage, even with the human host, Ghost Rider can easily lift 100 tons with a single hand. His other abilities are superhuman speed and agility. Ghost Rider can travel at super speed using his vehicles. So fast that a normal human being can't even see it with their naked eyes. His coordination and accuracy is also extremely enhanced, making him a deadly opponent for anyone. We should remember when Ghost Rider not only dodged but also grabbed Thor's hammer in midair. This proves the fact that Ghost Rider has extremely high level of agility and speed. And also do not forget that only the one who is worthy can actually pick up Thor's hammer. So this makes Ghost Rider worthy as well. Isn't that crazy? Other than this, Ghost Rider can breath and controls Hellfire. Using this ability he can easily burn anyone and turn his opponents into ashes. He can also use his Hellfire to make deadly explosions destroying everything in its path. He can generate fire tornadoes and can also forge weapons using his Hellfire ability as what we have seen in comics and movies. Remember that these are no ordinary weapons as they hold the explosive strength and invincibility of Hellfire. This is the reason why it's impossible to destroy his weapons. Hellfire also allows him to change the size and shape of his weapons. He can also create his own vehicles using his Hellfire. His vehicles can easily travel in any dimension, water, land, or even air. So it's quite evident that these are no normal vehicles created by Ghost Rider using his Hellfire ability. Not only this, but Ghost Rider can also increase his own size up to some extent which can be noticed in Uncanny Avengers Annual Issue 1 when Ghost Rider changed into a giant while fighting with Thor. Other than this, he has the ability to identify sin of any entity or being, meaning he can track down and know all the sins committed by any individual during his lifetime. He can also identify if a sin is being performed from a distant place. So no matter where you are, you cannot escape from the vengeful chains of the Ghost Rider. Quite scary, isn't it? He can also reincarnate the dead creating an army of his own to fight the sinners to bring them to justice. He is invulnerable from any physical attacks or harm done using guns or any form of weapons. He can take on any form of beating, abuse, or physical damage except for divine weapons which were forged in the heaven. Ghost Rider can also manipulate weather. He can generate lightning and tornadoes just like Thor. Other than this, Ghost Riders are ageless and immortals meaning they cannot be killed or will never grow old and only gods are capable enough to eradicate them. He can also create his own clones who are similar to him in terms of strength, speed, and agility. Now the thing which makes him extremely powerful is his penance stare. With this ability Ghost Rider can take out the soul of any sinful being just by looking into eyes and blaze their physical body into ashes. This is the signature move of Ghost Rider which is only known to him and no one else can use it. Sinners will not stand a chance when Ghost Rider uses his penance stare. So these are all the powers and ability of Ghost Rider. Now let's move on and talk about the powers and abilities of Venom. Venom has a very special type of digestion. 
Whenever Venom takes control of his human host then he becomes capable to consume and digest any form or quantity of meat or edible substance giving him a hyperactive digestive system. We all have seen in movies how Venom munches on his enemy's head with ease. Who know what all kinds of snacks and desserts Venom would like to devour? Eyes, lungs, pancreas. So many snacks, so little time. He also has the ability of filtering oxygen from the environment so that he can deliver that oxygen level to his host and keep it alive. Even in space he can filter the traces of oxygen and deliver it to his human host to ensure its survival. Now this is an advantage for Venom as he can adapt to any hostile environment and fight his enemies non-stop. Other than this he also has the power cloning ability. Meaning once Venom takes over his host then he can copy all of its powers and is able to keep it even after leaving that host. As we have seen in comics that Venom had the abilities of Spider-Man because Spidey was also a host of Venom in the past. Venom's saliva is also very acidic which can easily melt down the flesh of any normal human being or any creature enabling Venom to easily devour his prey. Venom can create multiple limbs or organs of any form using his own body mass. In fact in some cases Venom has also created or regenerated whole new body parts and organs for his host to ensure its survival and safety. Other than this he is also resistant to telepathic attacks. This would mean that it's very difficult to control Venom's mind. Venom himself also has some telepathic powers due to which he is able to communicate with his host whenever he wants. Venom can create any kind of weapon from any of his body parts at any time like an axe, a sword, a knife, guns or even a spear to aid him while fighting his opponents. Venom can also create a pocket dimension for his host in which his host can store any type of weapons or utensils for future use. And not only with humans but Venom can also bond with various other creatures like a horse which we have noticed in Venom the Last Dance movie trailer. Venom can also perform sexual reproduction which means he doesn't need a mate to reproduce. He can keep on growing by himself as per his will. And finally the most important thing that will aid Venom in his fight against the Ghost Rider will be his penance stare resistance. That's right, Venom is immune to penance stare and we do not know exactly why is that the case. Maybe because Venom doesn't have a soul which defies the core concept of the penance stare making it ineffective against Venom. Now we should also remember that Venom has three major weakness which are electricity, fire, and supersonic waves. So here are all the powers, abilities, and weaknesses of Venom. Now coming to the conclusion, who will win this epic fight? Is it parasitic monster Venom or the vengeful ruler of hell, the Ghost Rider? On one hand the penance stare doesn't really work on Venom but on the other hand Venom is not immune to fire and Ghost Rider is always filled with blazing hell fire. So now if we are to decide who's gonna win this fight then I personally think that Ghost Rider will take the win. But this is just our opinion. What do you think? Who's gonna win this fight? Don't forget to write your thoughts in the comments section below. With that said, it's time to end this episode and we will meet again with a new superhero battle video.